This is the ICE mobile logo. You'll come to associate that with the best way to build hybrid mobile applications using Java. Now there's been ongoing debate between building native applications and building web applications for mobile. What hybrids do is give you the best of both worlds. So you can use web-based techniques to develop your application, but still get access to device capabilities on the mobile device that would not normally be available using HTML. ICE Mobile is a general technology for developing hybrid mobile web applications. That means that it's for developing web applications that let you take advantage of device capabilities. ICE Mobile Faces is some specific extensions of ICE Mobile that let you work with the ICE Mobile capabilities from GSF or Java Server Faces. So for example, that means providing JSF components that correspond to the ICE Mobile capabilities. It makes it easy for the JSF developer to take advantage of ICE Mobile. The integration here is based on ICE Faces 3. So you get an industry-hardened JSF framework with key extensions that simplify development. Automatic AJAX automatically updates your pages so you don't have to delve down into low-level JavaScript development. You also get the full AJAX push infrastructure and it's augmented with the cloud push mechanism. So you take all of these features and you wrap them up in a mobile component suite, JSF components, and now you can build a straightforward JSF application utilizing the ICE mobile components and get a native look and feel to your application. So what are the basic parts of it? First of all, it's web-based. Use Java EE techniques and web development to build your application. ICE Mobile provides device detection and styling, so your application is going to look and feel like a native application on the device it's accessed from. To get access to device-specific capabilities, we provide device containers, which are native applications, that provide the interfaces between the web application and the device specific capability like a camera or a microphone. On top of this, we have our push infrastructure. We have both our AJAX push and our new cloud push features. So you can always get notifications to the user. ICE Mobile uses AJAX push to deliver instantaneous page updates to the application. This is necessary to match the instantaneous nature of native applications. Now if the application goes inactive, those connections are also going to go inactive. So our primary way of getting state changes to the application is severed. This is where Cloud Push comes in. It offers alternate connectors that take you through a different transport in the cloud. So for instance, you could send an email over an email transport, or you can use a device-specific push mechanism. And these are available across the major platforms, including Apple, Android, and BlackBerry. And we support all of those. So now with our AJAX push connection severed, we can go through the cloud over an alternate connector and deliver a notification to the user when it's critical. These notifications will manifest themselves as symbols in the status bar, a vibration, or some kind of sound bite. So no matter whether your user is active or inactive, you can always deliver critical notifications to them. When you're working with ICE Mobile, you can really apply a wide variety of skills to build a really interesting application. But just to get going, all you need to know is, say, how to develop a GSF application. Because if you add the ICE Mobile GSF components into your page, they'll be rendered in a way that works well on the mobile device, and you will get, say, the, the, the images uploaded into your application in a very accessible way uh, as a, a, a POJO based GSF application and furthermore the application you develop will automatically be themed for the device so th really to get going all you need to know is is Java and a bit of GSF. 
Our integration here, of course, is based on the Spring MVC framework. We provide JSP tags and controllers for uploading media capture. The tags provide device detection, which allows us to apply our styling. We have a number of mobile controls available in the tag library, as well as tags that give you integration to the device container capabilities so you can access things like the camera, microphone. So now you can take all of this along with the Ajax push capabilities and start to build mobile applications using ICE Mobile, JSP, and Spring MVC. Now in cases where JSP may not be sufficient, the presentation layer, we also integrate with JavaScript approaches here and in particular, you can use jQuery Mobile to build your application, integrate it back into Spring MVC with ICE Mobile capabilities. So you have quite a bit of flexibility here as how you can develop using the Spring MVC framework and ICE Mobile. I ICE Mobile is really a benefit to a variety of different developers. It's beneficial to mobile developers because it gives them another option for developing a mobile application. Perhaps they were already developing a native application and they found the process time consuming. And they say, well, I could I could develop most of this as a web application, but I just need a few native capabilities and then they can make use of ICE Mobile to, to develop their, their application easily. Of course, it, it, it's also really good for current ICE Faces developers because now Current Ice Faces developers can just take the Ice, Ice Mobile jar file, drop it into their application, and now they have a mobile application. Of course, they will have to customize particular pages that are intended for mobile devices, but we provide a lot of components that let you span the desktop and the mobile in a, a very transparent way, making it easy to develop simultaneously for both desktop and mobile. <laughs> So where can you get more information about ICE Mobile? Well, it's easy. Go to icesoft.org, click on the ICE Mobile project in the main menus. From there, you can get downloads, you can get documentation, you can get access to the forums. So everything you need to get going will be right at your fingertips at www.icesoft.org.